So what is dither and why do we have to use it? Well, dither is randomness, noise that's introduced into digital audio to minimize what is called quantization rounding errors that occur when resolving digital audio to a reduced bit depth. Wow, that's a lot of words, right? But if you remember that original graphic that I did about bit depth, remember? In this case, let's say we recorded in 24-bit, which gives us about 17 million different amplitude levels. But what happens when we resolve it to 16-bit? Well, some of those samples have to be quantized to a different level. And that quantization creates distortion. Every time a sample has to be rounded to a different level, well, you're creating distortion. There's no way around it. And because sound waves are periodic, the distortion becomes periodic too. It repeats and buzzes and creates all kinds of non-harmonic artifacts. Now, those artifacts are not unlike the sum and difference tones you get when you do frequency modulation. And it's really what you're getting because the frequency of the artifacts in the sample rate are modulating with the music. Dithering diminishes the repetitive rounding errors and replaces them with random ones. Noise. And noise to our ears, especially in music, is really less obtrusive. And at the same time, helps mask the rounding errors themselves. I mean, think about it. Would you rather listen to a high-pitched sine wave or the ocean? Well, I'd go for the ocean. And guess what? There's the ocean now. And remember that footprint in the sand, right? That's the sand of high resolution or high bit depth. Well, dithering is a very complicated mathematical process. And as you can imagine, it's very hard to turn sand into pebbles while still retaining a good imprint, so to speak. In the next video, I'm going to try to simulate quantization error and the masking process of dithering. So don't go away. This is going to be pretty cool.